Prediction on Super Tuesday. Who's going to come out the big winner tonight? <laughs> I will remain neutral. Oh, don't. How about the watching. Democrats then? I'll be watching. <laughs> Is Congress going to approve aid for the Congress? I have no answer to that. Lights, please. Thank you. <laughs> this way. Ready for? This way, please. <laughs> This way, please. Thank you very much.
We will go see your team. Who's this? I have to shut off the hearing. <laughs> well, we've, as I mentioned in the other room, we've been quite impressed with the pattern that you've set for the young leaders to, to follow in your country. And the introduction of incentives for workers and imaginative use of market mechanisms. Policy of opening to the outside of help China make great strides in the last decade. You've attracted favorable attention here and in many other countries. I think, I think it's interesting that even the Soviet Union is watching what you are doing with great interest. But I'm sure you have an agenda there. And I defer to you. Mr. President, it's a burden to mention the rejuvenation of the Chinese leadership. This is indeed an important question. We have decided to change the previous policy of a lifelong tenure of office for leaders, which has been in practice for a long time. At the same time, we will steadily lower the average age of our cadres, because by Chinese standard, those, those uh, who are uh, about 60 years old cannot be considered young. Uh, and uh, we should change the situation. This is Mr. O'Connell. Well, thank you for everything. I understand that uh, you're, you're leaving us now. Uh, not for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck to you, sir. You've done great. Thank you. This is Barney Beeksma, who is the Vice Chairman of the League. Appreciate the opportunity to see you. Pleased to have you here. Thank you. And Jody Morris, who is the immediate past chairman. Appreciate everything you've done for this country. Thank you very much. And this is my son, David Pitt, Mr. President. Hello there. Nice to see you. Okay. So they've thoroughly been indoctrinated today, and, they, and now their wives are over meeting with your wife in the diplomatic room having pictures taken. So it's just well, been a real day for us. Right. We appreciate it. We just want to appreciate, uh, thank you for all you've done for our industry and the support that you've given us, because we know that uh, you have spoken out on many different occasions uh, about what the role of our institutions and the importance of home ownership in this country is. Uh, we've got a recapitalization plan that's now in place that we've worked together on and we're going to make it work if we've made a commitment and uh, we just want to leave you with this letter and uh, we hope that uh, as you continue in the remaining uh, months of your presidency that you'll continue to support us and we appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. You're back. We've, had, we've had you at several of our conventions over the years and we greatly appreciate that. Back in the days when you were governor, so that well, takes you back <laughs> a little way. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> well, well, it's good to see you and again, thank you all. For thank you for having us. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Same here. Jim. Please. Your wife, sir. Good day.
George Klein, Vice Chairman, and Gordy Zaks, Vice Chairman. I appreciate your support in 1980 and 1984 for, on the issues throughout our term here, including but not limited to contra aid, the board nomination, SDI, and the Persian Gulf policy. The goal of freedom, I think, drives our foreign policy, freedom for Soviet Jewry, support for the freedom fighters in Nicaragua and Afghanistan. By the end of the previous presidency, Americans were beginning to question what they stood for, but in eight years we've regained confidence, I think, in ourselves and in the democratic ideals that inspired our founding fathers and the founding fathers of Israel. With respect to that, our administration has worked to enhance Israel's security, and as I'm sure you're aware, strategic cooperation between Israel and the United States, something that previous administration was reluctant to commit itself to. We continued commercial cooperation on research and defense programs and raised the level of aid and signed the free trade agreement between our two countries. Our latest peace initiative is consistent with your commitment to Israel's security and you're not going to accept any approach to peace that threatens Israel's security, nor am I. But the it's urgent that from the standpoint of Israel's interest and ours of making progress toward peace now, and I'm looking forward to Prime Minister Shamir Zakin coming visit. On the issue of Soviet Jewry, we have pressed the issue with Gorbachev in the past. And for example, it was one of the first items on the agenda here at the Washington summit. And I plan to raise the issue again with General Secretary Gorbachev when we meet in Moscow in the spring. Many foreign policy issues are interrelated. For example, the Sandinistas are not just anti-United States, they're anti-Israel as well. Having worked closely with the PLO and having voted for anti-Israel resolutions in the United Nations. So all I want to do is just thank all of you for your continued support in this crucial year and tell you that we're going to stay on the same track and the causes I've mentioned here are still vital and great concern to us. Assert what you've already asserted that we, in the remaining days and weeks and months of your administration, we stand willing and ready to continue the support we've given you in the past and to work to make sure that, uh, as they might say, you go out doing in style and right out the door in a way that people remember that you were here and accomplish the things you set out to accomplish. Thank you very much. So that, uh, this this group has been with you on the long march starting back in 1976, <laughs> 80, 84, and yes. Yes. if there was an 88, I think we'd be all <laughs> We're delighted you're here and we're delighted to be here with you. Well, I'm pleased to be meeting with you here. and I know we do have all these, these many things in common. We'll continue. And if you catch me limping even slightly before January 21st, <laughs> kick me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this organization has developed over a period of years. I have just tried to be helpful, it has been helpful. But I think you're one of the causes that made it possible. You may not remember, we came into your office back, I think it was about 82 or 81. But we really started to go full blow ahead on this thing, and we asked for your support. You had, a, you had a meeting in your office with your whole staff, and we told you what we had in mind, and, and you gave us that support that made this organization possible, which is going to be a great help not only to you, but it'll be a great help to future candidates, future Republicans. The other thing I say is this, on this peace initiative, I think this would be a crowning glory if uh, this thing could be started, but you started as Secretary of State Schultz. I think this is one of the most important things I can think about. We're all grateful to you for Soviet jewelry and your friendship and everything else. But this last one, I'm hopeful, as I say, that 
something tangible can come out because it could be a great big mark on this illustrious career. Uh, Thank you. I hope so too. Well, I think we're going to try to get some individual photos, and I know there's a short presentation. All right. Where do I go up with the fireplace? This week, 50 years ago, Nazi Germany invaded Austria. It was the beginning of one of the greatest tragedies that this world has ever seen, the Second World War. I was an immigrant from Austria in 1938 with my family. And I know that many of us here, our parents or grandparents or great parents, were immigrants to the United States. We all came here for one reason, to escape tyranny, to find freedom, and to find justice. And this country has been a great haven for the world and for us. Our Jewish coalition felt that we would like to make a presentation to you, and especially to you. A president that has stood for what we have all cherished, freedom, justice, and everything that this country has stood for, what you've helped in this country and the causes that we believe in, Israel, Soviet jury, has meant an enormous amount to us and I know to all Americans. And we tried to find something fitting for you, and I think we have. This is a crystal done by Steuben that has the preamble of our Constitution engraved on it. It's the first one produced by Steuben in this country. And I think it is fitting because it says the words that we all cherish and that you love and have stood for for your whole life. And your presidency will stand for that. Peace, justice, and freedom for America and the world. Oh, thank you very much. try to deserve this for the rest of my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm very proud and pleased to have this. God bless you. you have you. <laughs> God bless you. Right. May I read the inscription so that I think everyone can hear it? Some people haven't seen it. Forgive me if I put my glasses on. <laughs> Presented to President Ronald Reagan for his courageous leadership of the free world in the quest for peace with justice and freedom for all. National Jewish Coalition, March 8th, 1988. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. God bless you. Thank 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 you. Thank